All right, hey everybody, it's Evan here from devisun.com. And in this video, we're going to cover how to implement Tailwind CSS inside of Svelte. Now, before we begin, if you're unfamiliar with Svelte, I have a tutorial series on my YouTube channel that you can go check out. I'll have a link in the description. I cover all the basics of Svelte. However, if you're already familiar with Svelte, then you should be good to go for this video. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna enter this command here. We're gonna npx digit the Svelte.js template, and then we're gonna create our own project folder here. Now I already have a project, so I'm not gonna run this command. And then you're just gonna to wanna to CD into the project. I called mine Svelte Tailwind Tutorial. And then if you haven't already, go ahead and run npm install and install all your node packages. All right, and now we're gonna actually wanna install all of our dev dependencies that we're gonna need for Tailwind CSS. Again, I will have this command in the description down below. We're gonna be installing auto prefixer, post CSS CLI, Tailwind CSS concurrently and cross environment. All right, and now that we have that installed, let's go to our project. I'm going to open it up in Visual Studio Code. You can use whatever editor you want. And now in the root directory of our folder, we're going to create a file and we're going to call it postcssconfig.js. And in our public folder, we're going to create a tailwind.css file like so. And now inside our postcssconfig.js, we're going to type module.exports. So here we're going to want to add our Tailwind CSS plugin. So I'm going to say plugins. And then in our array, we're going to say require Tailwind and CSS like so. And now in our tailwind.css file, we're gonna need three things in here, our tailwind base, tailwind components, and tailwind utilities. Again, the repo for all this code will be in the description down below. I'm gonna go ahead and save this and close out of the file. Now we're gonna go to our package.json, and here we're gonna replace our default scripts that we have, and then we're just gonna paste in these scripts and overwrite the original scripts that we had in our package.json. And like always, I'll have these scripts in the description down below if you wanna go ahead and copy them. So let's go ahead and try to add some Something to our main. So I'm going to add a div. Inside this div, we're going to say this is a card. And now we're going to give a class. And here we're going to actually use some Tailwind CSS classes to make sure that this works. So first I'm going to add padding Y of let's say eight and a padding X of four. And then we're going to have a border and it's going to be border indigo 500. And then we're going to have a shadow large. And last but not least, we're going to need to import a CSS file. And in this case, it's going to be the index.css CSS file, which was generated from our scripts here. So if we go ahead and go to our index.html, which is in your public folder, and we go ahead and paste this like here, it's a link to our style sheet. And here we're just importing that index.css file. And now if we go ahead and save this and we go to our Svelte app in our browser, now we can see all the styling. And just to show you this works, if I were to change the background to be say indigo 100, we can see now that everything is updating like it should. Anyway, that's how you set up Tailwind CSS to work with Svelte. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below or you can join the Devison Discord server and either myself or someone else will be able to help you out there. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.